Hello, I am the ghost of Christmas present, and I'd like to tell you about the origin of the Christmas carol, Good King Wenceslas. Most people are familiar with the popular Christmas carol, Good King Wenceslas, but few are as familiar with the origins of this seasonal song, or exactly who King Wenceslas was, and why he was so good in the first place. Although closely associated with Christmas, the Feast of Stephen, mentioned in the first lines of the song, is actually referring to another celebration, St. Stephen's Day, or the Feast of St. Stephen. This holiday is a Catholic holy day. Get it? Holiday? Holy day? That's where the word comes from. Celebrating the first Christian martyr, St. Stephen, the Feast of Stephen is celebrated on December 26th or 7th, and its close proximity to Christmas is why it is so synonymous with that holiday, and is why you hear it in department stores this time of year. The Good King himself is also considered a Catholic martyr and saint, but here's where the story can get a little confusing. King Wenceslas was never a king. He was only a Duke of Bohemia, an area of the modern-day Czech Republic. But apparently, Wenceslas was such a cool dude that the Holy Roman Emperor Otto granted Wenceslas the title after he died. So that's why we sing Good King Wenceslas instead of the rather lackluster Good Duke Wenceslas. Now, Wenceslas was famous for being a generous and all-around great guy, with many biographies indicating how he would arise from bed every night, walk around barefooted, and donated money to widows, orphans, prisoners, the sick, and the elderly. No wonder everybody liked him. Well, not everybody, it turns out. Wenceslas had a brother by the unfortunate name of Boleslaw the Bad, who, with the help of his supporters, murdered Wenceslas and stole his dukedom. That's straight out of Shakespeare. The Christmas Carol itself was written as a collaboration between the English hymn writer John Mason Neal and his music editor Thomas Helmore. The lyrics were set to a 13th century tune called Tempus Ades Floridium, The Time is Near for Flowering, which was probably a Scandinavian dance tune meant to celebrate the spring. Weird. The song tells a legendary story about how Wenceslas went out into a deep snow to give alms to the needy and poor, and about his page who followed in his king's literal footsteps in the snow. Not exactly the kind of story you would associate with a dancing tune, but it does make for a delightful song to be sung around the holidays. So there you have it, Good King Wenceslas, a Christmas carol which is not about Christmas or a king, but it's fun all the same. That's the origin of a Christmas carol. And while we're on the subject of Christmas carols, don't forget to see Foothills Performing Arts production of Charles Dickens' classic story, A Christmas Carol, at the J.E. Broyhill Civic Center, December 1st through the 4th. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas from FPA.